Okay, so this is question two of the sheet on enlargement by negative scale factors. Um, and it asks us to enlarge triangle A by a scale factor of minus one and a half with a center of zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in the lines of enlargement. Now this is a really important part of the way in which you would tackle these types of questions in that we need to make sure that because we're passing through zero here, that we have these lines that will allow us then to be able to work out where the new point or the new shape is going to be. Okay, and as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm taking it from each of the corners and just very carefully making sure that I'm joining. Now, um, here you can see that I've gone a long three and one up, so I'm going a long three and one down, just to make sure that I line up the points um, absolutely perfectly and it just makes my life a whole lot easier then when it comes to actually um, creating the new shape. So the first thing I do is from the centre of enlargement I'm enlarging by a scale factor of one and a half but it's minus one and a half so it's in the opposite direction. Okay so first thing is I go along two and up one to this particular point here. So if you like, I'm going to call this point, uh, let's call it just A. So I've gone along two and up one. So in order to enlarge by one and a half, I'm going to multiply two by one and a half. So I'm going along three. And rather than going up one, because I'm multiplying by one and a half, I'm going to go along or down one and a half. So this now becomes a flash. Okay. So the next thing is, is that I'm going to look at point B, which is this point here. Now that's a long three and not one. Well, three times one and a half is four and a half. So I'm going to go along to um, four and a half. And then in this particular case, because rather than going up one, I'm going to go down one and a half. So that gives me my new point for B flash there. Okay, and then the last one is that I'm going to go along two and up three. Well, two times one and a half is going to be uh, three, and then I'm going to go up three. Well, that times one and a half is three, uh, four and a half. So I'm going to go along two, uh, three, and then I'm going to go down to four and a half. And what you'll see is that the points themselves are on the lines of enlargement and then it's just a case of connecting up these lines or these dots rather to create my new shape. Um, I hope that's okay for you and I'm going to move on to the next question which is question three in the next video.